Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to the Dave Can Geek YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this Bush portable cassette player. This is what it looks like. It's got a carry handle in the front so it is very portable, you can carry it literally anywhere. It's got various normal tape deck buttons in the front here. That's a wee look inside there. Some people have said that it sticks when you first open it, it probably does because it's brand new but after a few operations it seems to be absolutely fine. So you've got a record button here because this is not just a player, this is also a recorder. You can play, rewind, fast forward, stop and eject and pause. The speaker is on the top here. Sound quality isn't actually that bad, it's not perfect, it's meant to be a budget machine so it's not going to sound great uh, but it's actually surprisingly good. These buttons on the top are for another feature. This cassette player can also play MP3s. It's what you do is you get a USB memory stick, a pen drive or whatever you want to call it, and you plug it in the side here. You then switch this on to USB. And then you can use the buttons on the top here. The middle one is play and pause, the left one is previous track and the right one is next track. So you operate that. Also on the side here we have the volume control which lets you turn the volume up and down. If you want to play a tape or turn the device off then you switch this into the right hand position as it says there off slash tape so if you want to play a tape um, then you switch it into there if you're not wanting to play a tape and you just want the machine off then you can leave it there because when you're not playing a tape the machine will be considered off and that green light is supposedly for probably USB activity to show that it's doing something I'm not entirely sure these ports here this one on the left here is for your earphones. If you want to do some personal listening and listen in private rather than have everyone listen to what you're listening to, then you can plug in a set of headphones slash earphones. You can also play music into it from any other device using the middle port, which is AUX, short for auxiliary, or you can plug in an external microphone into the third and right hand port there. You don't need to plug in the external microphone. If you want to do some recording on this, you want to record your voice or some other music, there is a microphone right here that uh, can pick up any sound, but it's probably better to actually use an external microphone because that would probably be slightly better quality. <coughs> so how do you play music from another device? Because you're looking at this port on the side here, you're saying, how do I use that port? You get another device, any device that has a standard headphone socket on it. So you're looking for a 3.5 millimeter socket, and then you want to get a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter audio cable. I happen to have one right here. That's what it looks like, that's what the end looks like. It's a normal headphone jack, which is technically known as 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So you plug one end into the playing device, another end into the auxiliary input on the side of this device. And then you press record on here, with a tape in obviously, a re recordable tape. Um, they press record on here, wait a moment or two to make sure it's past the head and also gives you a wee gap in the tape between previous recordings. And then you press play on the playing device and it will feed the audio in. As for powering the device, it can be powered by either battery or regular mains power. To power it by mains power, you're going to need this cable here, which comes with the device, but in case you've lost yours, this is the cable you need. I'm in the UK, so this is the UK electrical plug. I think it's type G if I remember correctly. But obviously this end here will be the end that's suitable for your area. You'll know about that. 
uh, this is the end that's more important for this device here. You just plug it into the side here. Uh, it's actually this side. This port on the side here, I'll just show you that. And then uh, you plug it into the mains power. But because it's a portable device, it can also be powered by battery. So I've removed, in case you're wondering what this was, this is the battery cover. I've already removed that for you. It can take 1.5 volts C size batteries. Four of them by the looks of things. So you can put those in there and you can play it on the go. As for how long the batteries operate for, I do not know. Uh, this is model KCS317, in case you're wondering, and it uses 8 watts of power. That might be of interest to some people. Um, obviously put the battery cover on uh, when you're done. Um, so I don't know how long it works off of battery, I can't really answer that because I've never used it on battery, I've always had it plugged into mains power. Um, I don't expect it would last, uh, it probably would last quite a bit of time actually, um, because it's a budget device and all you're doing is playing tapes. Um, so it probably would last a good deal of time, but honestly I cannot really answer that. Um, so I hope this video has covered everything for you. Oh, one more thing. This wee bit here will tell you when you're recording. It's a wee light that comes on. It'll tell you when you're recording or when the battery is low. So it says record battery, it's two different functions. If you're recording, this will tell you you're recording. And if you're running on battery and the batteries are getting low, this light will come on. So if you're saying to yourself, oh no, I'm not recording, so why is this light on? If you're using it on battery, it's probably telling you the battery's getting low. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in to this video today. Please leave a like down below if you liked it. And leave a comment on any questions you may have about the device or any feedback you may want to give on this video or even chat about the device down below. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.